Carl Fredriksen, a timid child with spectacles and sporting an aged pilot's cap and goggles, sits inside a cinema, fixated on a film reel that showcases his idol, the esteemed explorer Charles Muntz. The reporter narrates Muntz's remarkable achievements and significant findings, only to reveal that his latest discovery, a colossal bird skeleton, had been discredited by experts, accusing it of being a mere fabrication. Muntz boards his Zeppelin, accompanied by his loyal pack of dogs, as he pledges to return with tangible evidence of his remarkable find. Meanwhile, Carl swiftly navigates the bustling street after the concert, clutching his balloon, affectionately named after Muntz's renowned airship, the Spirit of Adventure. In passing, he notices an aged, dilapidated house, where an enthusiastic voice echoes the familiar proclamation associated with Muntz, Adventure is out there. Carl steps inside to explore and discovers a vibrant, spirited tomboy who shares his passion for adventure and adoration for Charles Muntz. Startled by her exuberant and boisterous personality, Carl inadvertently releases his balloon, which gets entangled in the rafters above. Offering her assistance, Ellie helps him retrieve the wayward balloon, but an unfortunate accident causes Carl to lose his balance and fracture his arm while on a beam. That night, Ellie clandestinely enters his room, unveiling her cherished adventure book. Within its pages, she reveals her heartfelt desire to one day reach the pinnacle of Paradise Falls in South America, showcasing a photograph she cleverly borrowed from a library tome. Before their departure, she extracts a solemn promise from him that they will embark on a journey together at some point. Through a musical montage, the tale unfolds as Carl and Ellie exchange vows, ultimately marrying and settling in the very same old house where their paths first crossed. Their wedded life is filled with joy, as they both find employment as balloon salesmen and zookeepers. Upon discovering Ellie's inability to conceive, they strike a pact to save up funds for a pilgrimage to Paradise Falls. Sadly, as time goes by, they are compelled to dip into their reserved savings to meet unexpected financial obligations. Point one day, in his twilight years, Carl fondly reminisces that, despite their enduring happiness, they had never fulfilled their long standing promise. Inspired by this realization, he resolves to surprise Ellie during a picnic by presenting her with tickets to South America, the very destination they had once dreamt of exploring together. Tragically, Ellie's deteriorating health compels her hospitalization, and eventually, she succumbs to her illness, leaving Carl bereft and alone. Carl remains a retired and solitary loner in his home while the city expands around him. With the ongoing construction, there is a suggestion for him to move to a retirement home. However, he engages in frequent conflicts with the foreman and adamantly refuses to leave. One fateful day, he encounters Russell, a young wilderness explorer scout who endeavors to assist Carl in earning his, assisting the elderly, badge. Carl deceives Russell by persuading him to, help, by locating and removing a supposed, snipe, from his yard. Carl violently strikes a construction worker on the head using his walker after the worker inadvertently damages Carl's cherished mailbox, which symbolizes not only a part of the house, but also a reminder of Ellie. As a result of this assault, Carl is summoned to court, where he receives an eviction notice with a deadline of the following day. The next morning, employees from Shady Oak's retirement home arrive at his residence, only to be astounded by the sight of Carl releasing an immense number of helium balloons into the air. Consequently, his house becomes detached from its foundation and ascends high above the city, floating into the sky. Carl steers his house in the direction of South America and settles into his chair, enjoying a moment of relaxation. However, his tranquility is abruptly interrupted by a knock on the door. When he opens it, he is shocked to discover Russell barely clinging to life on his porch. It becomes evident that Russell had been searching for the elusive, snipe, beneath Carl's porch. Showing compassion, Carl invites Russell inside and determines that they should descend before an approaching storm hits, ensuring Russell's safe return home. Despite the turbulent weather, Carl skillfully secures most of his belongings before succumbing to exhaustion and falling asleep. 
The following morning, Carl is awakened by Russell, who reveals that they are currently flying over South America, thanks to a GPS gadget that he accidentally tosses out of the window. However, their view of the ground is obstructed by thick fog. Carl attempts to release a few balloons to get a better look, but they descend too quickly and are swept away from the house. Fortunately, they manage to prevent the house from drifting away by securing it with a hose attached to the porch. As the fog gradually dissipates, they realize they are standing on a lofty plateau directly opposite Paradise Falls. Determined to make the most of their situation before the helium in the balloons depletes and they lose control of the house, they decide to embark on a trek towards the falls. Regrettably, they are unable to re-enter the house and must rely on their resourcefulness to explore the journey ahead. Meanwhile, a pursuit is underway in the bush. Three dogs with red lights on their collars are hot on the trail of what appears to be a massive bird. However, their sensitive ears catch the interference from Carl's hearing aid, causing them to lose the track. Russell pulls over to use the restroom and stumbles upon a massive bird, which he entices with a chocolate bar. He brings the brightly colored creature to Carl and names it Kevin. Kevin accompanies them on their journey but runs away when they encounter the silhouette of a guy who calls out to them. However, they soon realize that the guy is merely an optical illusion created by overlapping stones. A golden retriever with a red light on his collar approaches them. Russell commands him to sit and speak, and the dog responds by utilizing the device on his collar. He introduces himself as Doug and explains that he is a tracker in pursuit of a bird, at which point Kevin attacks him. Carl becomes resentful of the additional company as the trio carries on with their adventure. At one point, Kevin emits a loud call, which is met with fainter calls in response. Russell assumes Kevin is a female because Doug reveals that he is calling for her baby. Meanwhile, the three dogs observed earlier, who were trailing the bird, have caught the scent of Carl and Russell, whom they jokingly nickname, the mailman. Alpha, the leader of the pack, instructs Beta, a Rottweiler, and Gamma, a Bulldog, to stay alert and continue the pursuit. However, Alpha's communication device appears to be malfunctioning, causing his voice to sound high-pitched. Using the gadget on Gamma's collar, Alpha contacts Doug, whom they had sent on a fake errand to get rid of him, only to discover that he has found the bird they were hunting. They swiftly trail after him and eventually reach Carl and Russell, although Kevin has already escaped. Instead, they decide to bring Carl and Russell to be their leader. Along the way, Carl and Russell come across a large group of dogs, all adorned with advanced collars. Finally, they meet the owner of the dogs, who turns out to be none other than an aged Charles Muntz. Muntz greets them as guests aboard the Spirit of Adventure, but his demeanor swiftly shifts to anger upon discovering that Russell has taken in a new pet bird. Carl is astonished to learn that Muntz has spent the past years obsessively searching for the bird, which had exposed him as a fraud, leading to his descent into madness. Muntz unveils a table adorned with head mannequins donning different headgear and callously knocks each one off with his cane while recounting the stories their owners allegedly shared with him, claiming that each item was related to his bird. Carl and Russell hastily escape from the Zeppelin just as Muntz locates the bird, which is calling from Carl's roof. Riding on Kevin's back and aided by Doug, who now considers Carl his new master, they manage to narrowly evade capture by Muntz's dogs, despite Kevin getting injured in the process. Carl vows to help Kevin safely reunite with her babies. However, as Kevin is about to enter her labyrinthine home, Annette suddenly ensnares her. Muntz and his dogs have arrived in the Zeppelin, led there by a tracking device attached to Doug's collar. Muntz maliciously throws a lantern under Carl's house, setting it ablaze. Carl disregards Kevin and hurriedly rushes to extinguish the flames, while Muntz boards his vehicle and departs with Kevin. Frustrated and furious, Carl vents his anger towards Doug and expresses his determination to take his house to Paradise Falls, even if it costs him his life. Eventually, he constructs his mansion at the falls, but in the process, 
he loses Russell's respect and admiration for abandoning Kevin. Carl enters the house and settles down to read Ellie's adventure book. He is ready to close it, saddened that she never got to visit the falls, when he uncovers additional images at the end detailing their life together. Ellie has scribbled a letter on the last page that says, thanks for the adventure, now go have a new one. Enlightened and encouraged, Carl runs outside just in time to witness Russell taking off with a few balloons, propelled by a leaf blower. Carl clears his house of excess furnishings, allowing it to fly again, and then follows Russell. He discovers Doug on his doorstep and joyfully declares that Doug is his dog and he is his master. Russell sneaks aboard Muntz's Zeppelin but is swiftly apprehended and confined to a chair. Muntz places him on the Bombay doors of the spacecraft and turns the switch to unlock them. Carl flies in and saves Russell just in time, placing him inside the house while he and Doug board the Zeppelin to retrieve Kevin. He uses a tennis ball from his walker to distract the guard dogs and freeze Kevin, but is accosted by Muntz. They engage in a sword battle, with Carl utilizing his extended walker, while Russell fights off a squadron of dogs in jet planes. Carl successfully regains control of the home and returns to assist Russell, who has ascended to the top of the Zeppelin with Kevin. In the meantime, Doug has encountered the leader and outsmarted him, becoming the new leader, and he has fled to join the others topside. Kevin, Doug, and Carl rush towards the house as Russell lands on the Zeppelin's wing. However, Muntz appears with a gun and starts shooting at them, causing the house to slip and dangle in the air. In a desperate move, Carl tries to hold onto the house using a hose. Sensing the urgency, Carl entices Kevin, who is carrying Doug and Russell, to leave the house by offering chocolate. Meanwhile, Muntz attempts to leap out the window after them. He doesn't make the jump because his foot gets hooked on some balloon threads, and he falls to his death since he weighs too much for the balloons to sustain him. As Kevin, Doug, and Russell return to the Zeppelin, Carl is forced to let go of his house, which slowly descends into the sky, a loss that Carl accepts as for the best. Kevin is reunited with her three chicks, and Carl takes Russell and Doug home to attend Russell's senior explorer ceremony. When Russell's father fails to present him with his final badge, Carl steps in and presents Russell with the grape soda badge that Ellie gave him when they first met, which is now known as the Ellie Badge. Afterwards, they sit on a curb in front of an ice cream store, with Carl acting as a surrogate grandfather to Russell, while the spirit of adventure floats above them. Carl and Ellie's house in Paradise Falls has landed precisely where it was intended to be, on the cliff, overlooking the waterfall.